Here's a terrifying statistic. We have seen some cases of kidnapping for as little as $6,000 worth of crypto, and we have seen people murdered for $50,000 of crypto. So this was just said by Elena Vranova, the founder of Satoshi Labs, at a conference in Riga, Latvia that's happening right now. It was part of a larger warning that's drawing attention to the huge spike in wrench attacks we've seen this year. Wrench attacks are physical extortions where the attacker wants your seed phrases, private keys, or just access to your crypto wallets. I've covered a lot of them this year simply because we've seen an inordinate amount, particularly in France. In January, we even and saw David Balland, the co-founder of the hardware wallet firm Ledger, and his partner kidnapped at gunpoint. He was being ransomed for 10 million euros before being rescued from a property in Chateau Roux by French special forces. But Vranova's talk is a stark reminder that it's not just whales, OGs and KOLs that are in the crosshairs. She told the audience that every week at least one Bitcoiner is kidnapped, extorted, tortured, and sometimes even worse. In fact, this year, the number of physical attacks on Bitcoiners is en route to double the worst year ever. But why? It certainly doesn't help that Bitcoin keeps pushing new all-time highs. But beyond that, Vranova points the finger at one culprit in particular, data leaks from centralized exchanges. She said, we currently have more than 80 million Bitcoiner and crypto user identities leaked online. 2.2 million out of those contain home addresses. For all intents and purposes, this is a menu for ruthless criminals to pick their victims from. And admittedly, with an air of irony, it shows the vulnerabilities of centralization and how financial privacy is a non-negotiable right.